Good morning everybody and here we are talking about bulbs. As you can see we had a wardrobe change. It's for y'all. It's my autumn apron. Yeah, oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> for y'all, um, we have this in our decor, in our home decor section and I walked by and I was like, I wear aprons. So I decided I was going to rock it. Maybe I'll rock it all week. Yeah, do it. Instead of my boring like, seriously, look. This doesn't say fall, y'all. Yeah, no. I want to vote in the comments. Yeah. Want to see. <laughs> you want to see more fall, y'all. <laughs> you know what? Whatever they say, I'm just going to say they said they did, and I'm going to yeah. rock this all week. Yeah. Um, so enough about the apron. If you like, like, the start of every show, I end up talking, like, for two minutes about what I'm wearing. I I've really just got to get over that. Um, but it's, uh, it's bulb planting time. So far we've talked about pre-planting uh, and cleanup. Uh, we've talked about annuals uh, and planters. Um, and now it's bulbs. Uh, and bulbs are, they're funny, they're, they're, they're crazy. Uh, my dad loved bulbs. Daffodils are uh, my mom's favorite flower. Um, so we always had bulbs when I was a little guy, I'd help my dad plant them. Uh, and then I studied it, so I've always known about them. Uh, but it's remarkable how many people we get uh, who come in the store in the spring uh, in May and June and they're like, oh my god, my neighbor's got tulips, where are the tulips? About six months too late, uh, seven months too late. And it sucks, I can do a lot of things in the garden, I know a lot of hacks and how to make things work and what you can do. I can't get your bulbs in June. Uh, I really can't. Uh, we can force them, uh, but that's a whole other subject. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to talk about uh, right now what is a bulb. So a bulb, and I've just got a daffodil bulb here, that's what it looks like. And in its very, very, very basic, basic form, that stores energy to promote growth. Now most of the bulbs we plant that you'll be familiar with, this, uh, tulips, garlic, onion, um, crocus, uh, hyacinth, all of that stuff. They're called tunicate bulbs. And the tunic is literally just this papery outer coating. And all it does is prevent the bulb from drying. So when you hear, or if you hear, a tunicate bulb, all it means is that it's got a paper kind of wrapping around it. Same as, I think we're all familiar with that if you get the, the, the grocery store. A garlic is a tunicate bulb, okay? Two very different bulbs, a garlic bulb and a daffodil, but they're both tunicate bulbs. It's like a, um, a Swedish columnar aspen and an apple tree. Very different trees, but they're both deciduous. So that is essentially what a bulb is. And what it does, like I said, is it stores energy inside. So this, this guy is gonna be dormant nine months of the year uh, it's just going to live underground and do nothing but it's during those three months when it really really showcases itself you get the nice yellow flowers and the trumpets and whatnot so what we're going to do is something i think a lot of you might not have seen before is we're going to cut this in half and we're going to talk about what's inside so i got my trusty trusty handy gardener's knife and i got my apron in case i make a mess <laughs> I love my apron. I think I'm going to buy this apron and I think I'm going to rock it. I also cook. I just learned how to bake. So I am going to cut this guy straight in half. And now we're going to have a look at what we've got. So there we go. So you can see there's multiple, multiple layers in here. And I'm going to use my knife blade and I'm going to kind of walk us through what we're looking at. So what we have here, right in this part here, this is the actual flower part. Okay, see if I can pop it out. Nope, doesn't want to come out. But that is essentially the flower part, okay? So that is where the flower stem is going to come up, and you can see it's going to come up here. And then the ones around it are where the leaves are going to come out. Okay, and that is essentially the main lateral bulbut. Ooh, 
what a fancy way of saying flower part. And then down here, you see this ridge here, and this flat area, this is called the basal plate. And the basal plate is essentially where our fantastic adventitious roots come from, okay? So that is very simply your basal plate. This is your flower part here, and then all the rest of these are the layers where it's going to store, and they're called bulb scales. And they're just very simply, let's see if I can bust it open a bit further here. You can see inside, okay, so there goes our tunic. There's our papery tunic. And I don't know if this is coming through on camera, but it's wet. It is damp inside, okay? And the outside is bone dry. So it's really trapping that moisture. And what some people will do, I hope I don't cut my finger on camera. That would suck. Safety first. Is you can take cuttings of bulbs, bulb scales, and you can actually form four bulbs. I've never done that. I have never, ever in my life propagated a bulb. I've only ever grown them. So essentially, what this does, oh, that's actually, we cut it. Yep, making a mess. But there we go, if we do a full cross section, you can see it goes all the way around, and if I were to cut this way, you'd see that this part is in the middle. So, put that down now. So what happens is, essentially, what we just locked at is, and I'm gonna draw, like I said, they're all the same. So that's a tulip. Now we've just cut it in half. So we've got our ridge here, okay? And that, I should probably write that in black, is the basal plate, okay? Now, I am, I am, not, I am not being arrogant or funny or silly when I'm saying this at all. This is a garlic, adventitious roots on the basal plate. You would not believe the amount of people we get who say, which way do I plant this? Because look at the stem. So they don't know if it's meant to go like that. Yeah. They don't know if that's where the roots come from and they plant it like that. This really, really confuses people. Really, really simple roots down. And we're gonna talk about that more. So if you think about roots, if you think about a basal plate, base, the base you're gonna want down. So that's your basal plate. Then we've got our tunic or the paper so we're going to call it the tunic because it is a tunic eight fold tunic eight tunic and again all that's doing it's almost like the seed coat remember we talked about the seed coat uh it's hard it protects the seed inside this is doing the same thing now it's not hard it's not protecting it but it's storing that moisture. A dry bulb is dead. Even though it's dormant, you still want it to have that moisture inside. So that's what your tunic does. Now, if you remember, when we sliced it open, there was parts going up like that. And there were a few of them. I'm not going to draw them all. Then there was a part in the middle, and it had one around it. Okay? This, did I put my black marker down? I absolutely did. This here is your main lateral bulblet. And I think bulblet is the favorite word of the day. It's a bulblet. Now, the reason that's called the main is quite often when you buy a bulb, you may see a second bulb coming off of it like that main secondary that easy but we're not talking about that right now we're talking about what's going on in here so that's your main uh your main bulblet then all around it if you remember following the contour there were a whole so easy one for you guys to picture i'm sure we've all cut up an onion uh i like onion on everything tacos all kinds of good stuff you chop up an onion that's what it looks like. All of those layers of the onion that we eat and we find incredibly edible are actually the, I can't write anymore on that side. Um, so they 
are the bulb scales, okay? And all they do is they harvest the energy. So again, I, I chopped it up, but that right there, all of this is doing is harnessing energy. And it's an energy storage unit. And we plant it at this time of year. We're gonna talk about planting later, but roots go down and then we backfill it with soil, and then with water. It doesn't need a lot of water. If it's not very rainy or very wet, you might want to water once a week just to help the soil settle and retain the moisture. Like I said, this is wet inside. The tunic's preventing it drying out. So a little bit of water is important. It's not like planting a tree or planting the annuals where it's water, 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 but it does need some water. Again, dormancy does not mean dead. Dormancy means in a sleeping, restive state. Uh, hibernation almost so it does still need a little bit of help and these are the ones here each one of these layers contains energy all of that energy gets pulled in here and then what's gonna happen is this main lateral bulblet is essentially gonna be so we'll draw this smaller now it's springtime it's warming up we know that the Sun's coming back everything is awesome again and what happens is the bulblet in here sends a stem straight up. So it's coming straight up through the top. Okay, can we see that on our, on our bulb? Yep, so you can see where it's gonna come straight up, all the way up to there. And that's where the flower is gonna come out. So that's where your stem is gonna come out. Then what it's gonna do is the rest of the energy that's being stored in all of these bulb scales in here as the stem comes up and gets above ground puts out its flower its leaves i'm sorry leaves get hit by the photosynthesis so now all of that is going into this huge energy cell that you've got here works the exact same way those roots that we saw start growing okay now they're taking it up so instead of it being a normal plant where you've got roots attached directly to a stem, it's now all going through this bulb. And all the bulb is doing is it's taking in the energy and it's taking in the nutrition and the food from the leaves and the sugar and the glucose and the water and the nutrients and it's storing it all in the bulb and it's giving out what it needs. Whatever it doesn't need for that flower doesn't matter what you do, a tulip is only going to last a few weeks. The leaves will last a few months. Leave the leaves. Again, we'll talk about that uh, at another time. That isn't the conversation for now. This is what is a bulb. So all of that energy coming up and coming down hits the bulb. And essentially, it stores it all. And by June, your tulip is finished. The leaves are done. Everything is finished. And this bulb sits underground holding all that energy, waiting for next spring when it's gonna flower again. So I hope that addresses what is a bulb. Tomorrow we're gonna to talk about examples of bulbs and we're gonna to talk to you guys uh, about various times when you plant them, um, a, few, uh, a few little interesting tidbits about some bulbs, how they work together uh, and what you can do uh, and how to put them in your perennial gardens and whatnot. So uh, that's coming up tomorrow. But this, in a nutshell, is exactly what a bulb is. So I hope it answers some questions. Um, I'll see you guys tomorrow where, regardless of what the vote is, I'm wearing my apron. Okay. There we go. So <laughs> you may as well all vote, I hope Colin wears his apron, and then you're all going to be right. <laughs> um, and we'll see you guys tomorrow, and we're going to talk about the different types of bulbs. Uh, daffodils, gladiolis, garlic. They are all a, uh, a bulb, but they're all very different. And we're going to find out about that tomorrow. Have a wonderful, wonderful day, everybody, and we'll see you guys soon. Bye, everyone. <laughs>